All right. Hello everyone and welcome to another video. It has been a very good idea looking at these sales. I am not showing the magic sales, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, even Locana or One Piece or World of Warcraft. I did sell quite a bunch of those, but we are only looking at the Fab sales. Mm, those have been the biggest part, of course, as you know. And then we're also not looking at the cheaper sales, like a bunch of commoner decks, a bunch of cards for under one or one or two bucks. We are just checking what has been sold in the last seven days, which cards, you know, for around about five or above. Five euros and above, everything that contains those. Also, um, there has been a little bit of confusion. Maybe there's a duplicate or two in here. You know, there's different times like unpaid and then paid and then sent and then arrived i didn't know what i looked for last week and the week before but from now on i am only opening those that have been sent after this video until the next seven days so everything that has been sent i'm just sticking to that right let's look into this 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 first one has been a good one um, Crown of Reflection, Cold Fall for 15, and then a playset of This Rounds on Me, Non Fall for 20 for each. Also, Dissolved Reality for, uh, you know, Rainbow Fall, 20 each. That has been a good sale. So, on to the next one, Mist Veil. Siren's Call, Fall, I did sell this for 10, and a playset of the weakest link, Non Fall, for a little over 100 euros for all three together. Then, I hope you can see this. Hold on, let me check. Yeah, it's all on here. Ancestor Harmony, 25 each. This is the non-foil version. I did sell those. Also, what's going on here? Read the runes, runic reckoning. Ah, yeah, Eloquent Eulogy, also missed. Missed Vayner. Then, another one, Looming Doom. That has been sold a place at for 6 each. And on down here, Sonata Phantasmia for 640. Rod Rowdy Locals, Fall, 740. I'm gonna have to check on that, sorry. Yeah, I don't have any of those left. That's bad. Bonds of Agony, 10 each. Non Foil, a playset. Then Pursuers of Prognosis, Fall for 17. I also sold two Just a Nick for 12 each. That's the Non Foil version. That's still expensive. Either is Fall, that's something different. For five, I think that was too cheap. Yeah, I have to raise the price. There is only oh, there is not many of those left. It's strange to see how many of those fab cards are really about to be sold out again. And there is something in the making, I think. Either spin a red foil for five each. Check this out. This is Arcan Rising. Mm, yeah, that's one of those rather cheaper but yeah there is some stuff in here fulminate rainbow fall first edition 450 each oh yeah 411 each this guy sold oh bought three channel thunder step fall first edition i don't know if you can see this it's you know i have to hide the addresses telephone numbers all that stuff so you only see part of this screen but yeah, i'm gonna have to make sure you see the stuff that's important right um, Dance Blue Mist for 50. Oh, yeah, Ori Horn of Mystic Talents Rainbow Foil. There is not many of those. I sold this one for 20. I do have two left for 20 each. So, how is this always happening? Right, next. Uh, what is, oh, yeah, three levels of enlightenment. <laughs> non foil for 54 each. I think I have no copy. I have one copy left. No, I don't. Also, what's the cheapest in Germany? 44, 44, I cannot, I'm not gonna buy this. Right. Ninth blade, ninth, is it ninth or ninth? Ninth blade, ninth blade of the broad, oh my God, I can't even, sorry, I'm not native English. You see what it is. Ninth blade, ninth blade of the broad of four, seven each. Sonata for, oh yeah. Rattle Bones, 20 each. This is a card which is about to be sold out as well, I guess, if, you know, Rune Blades keep on buying. Also, Reveler Rune Blood, <clears throat> that's an Everfest card for 20. Majestic, non foil. Oh, yeah, Runic Reckonings again. Sonata Galaxy again. Yeah, there has been some good stuff in here. What do we have here? Nothing. Why is it on here? Don't care about that. Hold the line. Rainbow Fall, 
40. I didn't expect this to be sold because dust alone it's a bit quiet now but yeah it's a generic card you know why not so there you go um what is this unravel aggression for 440 well not too interesting iron song determination so 650 for this three copies that's non-foil right strong price also Gruganian tome this is the history pack white border for 10 hmm what else do we have oh yeah gaze the ages you see there's several times you know players just buying the not good condition card because it's cheaper and then just you know going from there gaze the ages for 20 each either wildfire for 10 each yeah, I'm getting rid of some of this stuff. Either arc for 630, this is only excellent condition. I do great, very strict. So if you see near mint, it's almost every time mint. And if you see accent, could be near mint. Yeah, that's how I go. I just don't want to cause any trouble, right? This is a good hobby, especially if the buyer gets something better than he expects. That's all good. Blood Rush Bellow for 11. Beast Within for 20. All right, we're almost through, just 10 more left. Oh yeah, also I did sell two Marvels of Mist. Uh, Sacred Art Jade Tiger Domain for a 70 and Preserved Tradition again for 45. I did sell this before, I even have another one. Uh, Blizzards for almost five. Uh, what is this, Shadow Puppetry for eight. I do think this price is too low. What? Hold on, let me check. No, I even put it down 40 cents. All right, sorry, I was wrong. Channel Thunderstep, unlimited for five. And then here, Diadi Carapace, actually sold for 40. What else do we have? Eloquent Eulogy, again, for six. Alluvian Constellas, another unexpected sell oh, for 20. What's the price here? Oh, yes, that's one of those. Now I have my last copy on for 40. Lowest price is 25. There is a lot going on in Flesh and Blood. Believe me, there is a lot going on. As you can see, these are all actual, real sales to all over Europe. And I do this full time. That's what I live off. That's why my prices are most of the times significantly higher than card market low. I, every once in a while, I do. I mean, I have a thousand. I have at least a thousand things coming in, letters or packages a year. So three a day, every day, seems about right. And then I have collections every once in a while. If I sell Metacarpus Note out for 11 or Gaze the Ages for 18, let me check this out. I, might, I have two copies left. That's why I have been raising the price up. And now what I do is usually I just, you know, go in here, buy these three and then go to that seller and then just go through his inventory. Actually, I'm going to open this. I'm going to open this into another window so I can work on this later on. I might just go through the inventory, buy every single card they have. And that's what I do. About an hour a day. Yeah. All right. Good. So uh, next up, Shadow Puppetry again for eight. Channel Thunder. Is this old? No, it's not. We have a Deodic Carapace for 40. I think we've seen this before. Yeah, we've seen that before. Sorry, this has been sent on the 18th. So this is more than seven days old. That's one of those. Oh, we just had it here. Sorry. On we go. We have six, seven more sales left. Right. What was this? Codex of Blood Rod. Check this out. Outsiders for 10 each. What else? No Run Hood Foil. I think these are still too cheap. Those have been above five each during the hype. When we all have been locked up at home, no run rope for almost five, no run gloves for 13. And this is an excellent copy, not just, not even near mint. No run boots fall for eight. I do believe those prices will, there is, you know, rumors and talkings about this arcane set. Who knows? We shall see. All arcane, right? Dense blue mist for 450. Visit Goldman Estate for 720 each. Yeah. Spellblade Assault Blue Foil for, for almost five. This is a rare foil. Not bad, man. Not bad. Well done. So, what else? Tom of Fiendal. 
a playset for 10 each, high octane for 1070 each, techno core for 10 each, three maximum velocities for six each, spark of genius almost costs seven. Wow, plasma purifiers for less than five, techno pounders for 550. Oh boy, that has been a great mech deck. So, what else? Erase phase for, yeah, well, this was excellent for 70. That's it, raise an army. All right, good to see that stuff. Um, this, I am selling more and more. Of course, my plan is to, you know, up the sales volume. So, up the revenue. I did decide to do this full time in February only. Oh my God, I'm sorry. February last year, it has been 16 months that I was able to survive with only selling cards, mostly flesh and bloods. Uh, at the beginning when, you know, when I, when I was asked, you know, is it worth, can you live off this? It's a combination of different things. I also do have my Patreons who help me. I do, of course, sell other card games, which will not change, I guess. But that's mostly what I do, right? This is my source of income and I, it seems to work. Um, yeah, it's great seeing all this going up. All this is going up. The, you know, this game is wealthy, flourishing, spreading into new nations where it's getting introduced. Um, I see a very, very solid generic growth and I especially, it's a great community. I have, you know, my patrons, of course, that's one thing. But in general, I don't see all this trolling and hate and, and you know, everything's great, everything's fine. Good stuff. So, I'm gonna make some more new videos next week. For now, I'm off to the weekend. Have a good time. Bye.